Hi guys, here we have protective cases from Dobe, Oivo, and iPega, and let's find out which one is the best for this Nintendo Switch Lite. So I went out and got three budget-friendly protective cases for my new Nintendo Switch Lite. These are very reliable brands when it comes to value for money gaming accessories. Let's first take a look at the Doe protective case. This is made of TPU material and I really love TPU because it protects your devices without risks of scratching them. And there are several colors available and for this one I really could not find the clear uh, color and so I had to settle uh, for this turquoise color. I would have preferred the clear but but I checked out three different stores already and I could not find the clear variant. So I settled for turquoise. Anyway, let's take a look and see what's inside. And wow, this color is beautiful. It pops and goes well with my neutral colored Nintendo Switch Pokemon Lite Edition. It's not too hard to put on. It's CPU, so it's very flexible. But look at this. It just looks gorgeous. Look at that. The cutouts are clean and precise. The shoulder buttons are exposed. The texture of this TPU case is smooth, but not too smooth to the point that it becomes slippery. The texture, in short, is just right. The cutouts on top expose not only shoulder buttons, but also the power button, the volume rocker, the vents, and the game card slot. Now you'll see that the cutout on the power button is not perfectly centered, but I'm nitpicking here. The power button can be pressed with little effort. I also tried the 3.5mm jack with my Snakebite headset, and it slotted in just fine, but again with little push. And you can see here I am trying the buttons to see if there's any obstruction, and slightly there are, but no big deal. All the buttons, ports, and slots are accessible with this Doe protective case on. And now let's take a look at the bottom part. You can see that there's a large enough cutout on the USB-C port, but there's no cutout for the micro SD card slot. That's not really a problem because I don't think anyone will be hot swapping micro SD cards anyway, right? The cutouts on the back are perfectly aligned and I particularly like the pattern on the grips. It makes this easier to grip so the pattern works. Overall, I really like this dual protective TPU case. Quality is superb and it comes with an unbeatable price tag of 195 pesos or less than $4. So I highly recommend this. Okay, now let me just remove this and let's move on to the next one. So up next is the OIVA protective case for the Nintendo Switch Lite. You'll notice that it comes with a tempered glass screen protector. I already used it and the tempered glass screen protector is the one I applied on this Nintendo Switch Lite actually. There are four color variants available and unfortunately there is no clear case variant so I settled for black this time. So without further ado, let me just quickly put this on my Nintendo Switch Lite. But wait, that grip texture looks awfully familiar. Hmm, did I just buy the same case from a different brand? Okay, that's a bit much. Yes, Oivo sold me the same protective case as Dobe, but it's good quality anyway, so it's not all bad. Let's move on to the next one. I really have high hopes for this. From the box alone, we can tell that this is a different product. This is from iPega, the 3-in-1 essential kit. 3-in-1 because it contains the protective case, tempered glass screen protector, and a surprise feature, the cartridge holder at the back of the protective case. This protective case from iPega has smaller grips and has a slightly rough texture. It also has a cutout for the micro SD card slot. It looks like a premium quality case, about the same premium quality as Dobe and Oivos. And yes, it fits perfectly and looks beautiful. The cutouts are clean and precise, the grips are smaller, and as I mentioned earlier, there's a cutout for the micro SD card slot in case you need it. It looks really elegant, and the biggest differentiator is the cartridge holder feature at the upper back portion here. But there's no lock mechanism, there's no cover, but it has a snug fit on the cartridge, and no matter what I do, I tried so many times, but I just can't shake the cartridge out. It's a great feature and looks really nice, but I can't help but worry that I might lose my cartridges from here, so I kept trying to shake them out, but I couldn't. Okay, so we looked at three protective cases, well, two actually, and you can't go wrong with either of them, but I do declare the Dobe Oivo case as the winner. IPEGA scripts are just too small, and the lack of any cover or lock mechanism on the cartridge holder prevents me from fully using it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.